Let's answer 20 items professional education questions from the CBRC Yellow Book. Make sure to watch this video until the end so you will not miss the relevant topics covered in this video. If you want to prepare for the upcoming licensure examination, I want to let you know that you are in the right place. Free review materials are uploaded every week on this channel. So, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. You have 10 seconds to think and answer each question. After that, I will give the correct answer with an explanation. 1. According to Nagel's acronym PPPF, what is important to follow up in the proper use of instructional materials? A. Lesson objective. B. To entertain the class. The best answer is A. Lesson objective. The proper use of materials by Hayden Smith and Thomas Nagel. They recommended abiding by the acronym PPPF. This acronym means prepare yourself, prepare your student, present the material, and follow up. First, the teacher needs to prepare the lesson objective if it fits the expectation of the class. Next is to prepare the students. The teacher should set reasonably high class expectations and learning goals. Motivate them and keep them interested and engaged. Next is to present the material. Using media and materials often requires rehearsal and a carefully planned performance. Through this, running out of gas syndrome will be avoided. This syndrome usually occurs due to a lack of planning. The last step is to follow up. The teacher needs to follow up if the instructional material attains the lesson objective. 2. Under the psychomotor domain of learning, what relates to expressive movement, posture, gesture, facial expression, and creative movements? For example, taking part in a play. A. Non-discursive communication. B. Reflex movements. The best answer is A. Non-discursive communication. It is a type of communication through bodily movements ranging from facial expressions to sophisticated sequences of movements. Examples are body postures, gestures, and facial expressions efficiently executed in skilled dance movements. On the other hand, a reflex, or reflex action, is an involuntary and nearly instantaneous movement in response to a stimulus. A reflex is made possible by neural pathways called reflex arcs which can act on an impulse before that impulse reaches the brain. Thus, a reflex is not an example of an expressive movement. 3. Under the domains of learning, to what domain do comprehension, analysis, and evaluation belong? A. Reflective. B. Cognitive. The best answer is B. Cognitive. The cognitive domain involves the development of our mental skills and the acquisition of knowledge. The six categories under this domain are the following. Knowledge or remembering in the revised taxonomy is the ability to recall data and or information. Comprehension or understanding is the ability to understand the meaning of what is known. Application or applying is the ability to utilize an abstraction or to use knowledge in a new situation. Analysis or analyzing is the ability to differentiate facts and opinions. Evaluation or evaluating is the ability to come up with judgments about the importance of concepts. Synthesis or creating is the ability to integrate different elements or concepts to form a sound pattern or structure so a new meaning can be established. 4. Under the effective domain of learning, what includes active attention to stimuli such as acquiescence, willingness to answer, and feelings of satisfaction? A. Valuing. B. Responding. The best answer is B. Responding. The keyword is willingness to answer. 5. The components of direct instruction, which involves teachers and students working together on a skill or task and figuring out how to apply the strategy. A. Consolidation. B. Guided practice.
The best answer is B. Guided practice. This is a set of student behaviors based on what the teacher says and does. During guided practice the student practices the target skill or strategy with the assistance of the teacher, thus working together. On the other hand, consolidation is a lesson stage where new material is reviewed, and learning is reinforced. It normally occurs at the end of the lesson. Consolidation can be compared with revision, which takes place at a later time and serves to remind learners. Which of the following is an active strategy in transformative education? A. Brainstorming. B. Demonstration. The best answer is A. Brainstorming. Transformative learning is sometimes called transformation learning and focuses on the idea that learners can adjust their thinking based on new information. This is in connection to brainstorming, which refers to as group discussion, where the team generates ideas to solve defined problems, critically thinking, and extracting certain information. 7. Following a model procedure How is the process in problem-based learning sequenced? 1. List actions for what we need to know. 2. Explore the issues. 3. Write a solution with a supporting document. 4. Develop and write problem statement. A. 2, 4, 1, and 3. B. 3, 1, 4, and 2. The best answer is A. 2, 4, 1, and 3. Eight. Among the examples listed, which does not represent teaching strategies to develop metacognition. A. Have the students develop questions about what is going on around them. B. Have teachers the free hand to monitor and rate learning achievement. The correct answer is B. Have teachers the free hand to monitor and rate learning achievement. This statement does not represent teaching strategies to develop metacognition because basically, metacognitive strategies refer to methods used to help students understand the way they learn, which relates to the first statement. 9. Of the following questions, which relate to metacognition. A. How is this done? B. Am I learning well enough? The best answer is B. Am I learning well enough? Ten. Among teaching styles, how do you classify a teacher who clearly and fairly communicates standards for discipline and performance to the student? A. Permissive. B. Authoritative. The best answer is B. Authoritative. Classroom management styles of teachers can be characterized along two dimensions. The type of control exercised over students, and the degree of involvement of teachers with students. High control is when teachers explicitly lay down the law, and very strictly enforce it. On the other hand, low control is when the teachers have no rules and no expectations for their students. Involvement, likewise, can range from high to low. High involvement is characteristic of teachers who have high regard for students, as students enjoy being around students and want to see students do their best. Whereas, low involvement shows a real lack of both regard and concern for students. The classroom management styles of teachers can be readily identified based on both degree of control and level of involvement and are summarized as shown in the chart. The authoritative style encourages independence, as warm and nurturing, control occurs along with explanation, and adolescents are permitted to express their views. This approach is the best form of classroom management style because it is the one most closely associated with appropriate student behaviors. Thus, there is clear and fair communication about discipline and practices. 
This teaching style is characterized by behavioral principles, high expectations of appropriate behavior, clear statements about why certain behaviors are acceptable and others not acceptable, and warm student-teacher relationships. 11. How do you characterize education that shifts away and introduces something new from current educational practices? A. Instructive. B. Constructive. The best answer is B. Constructive. 12. What does the traditional curriculum and mass education lack that the progressive curriculum can deliver? A. Authoritarian role of the teacher. B. Value for individualization. The best answer is B. Value for individualization. In the progressive approach, learning is something that students themselves must experience through the guidance of their teachers and the environment. Students learn mostly through experiences, collaboration, and play. Progressive education allows teachers to meet each student's needs and interests, that is, individualized learning. On the other hand, students taught in the traditional approach are expected to learn as soon as the information is given to them, and the teacher is the central figure of the traditional learning experience. 13. Which of the following is the most appropriate use of television in the classroom? A. TV viewing to replace the absent teacher. B. TV viewing with cuts and explanation. The best answer is B. TV viewing with cuts and explanation. Technology cannot replace a teacher. Technology can help the process of learning, but it certainly cannot replace the role of the teacher. It is obvious that technology is assisting students in their learning and it is playing a crucial role in the field of education. But, as of now, it does not have the power to replace teachers because human interaction cannot be replaced by computers and human skills cannot be taught by technology. Additionally, technology helps to implement distance learning amidst pandemic, with clear instruction and guidance of the teacher. 14. What is aroused among viewing learners by dramatic educational films in what is known as cliffhangers? A. Satisfaction. B. Expectancy. The best answer is B. Expectancy. A cliffhanger is a scene in a book, movie, newspaper story, or TV show that holds something back from the reader or viewer. It gives suspense to the story, and the reader develops expectations on what could happen next. 15. According to the existentialist, every person is in the same predicament and has the same possibilities. What does this imply? A. Every person must go through the same form of education. B. Every person must be given access to education. Everyone has the right to education. The objectives of education include the full development and dignity of each person, the ability to participate effectively in society, and the strengthening of respect for human rights. 16. Teacher Chrissy always checks on entry knowledge and skills before she proceeds to her new lesson. On which principle is teacher Chrissy's practice grounded? A. Learning increases when the lesson is relevant. B. New learning builds on previous learning. The best answer is B. New learning builds on previous learning. Entry knowledge includes the prerequisite knowledge, attitudes, or skills that the student already possesses that are relevant to the learning task or subject matter. This will help students to relate previously known ideas, skills, and abilities to the new lesson. 17. A student claims, I cannot see it so I won't believe it. Under which group can he be classified? 
A. Realist B. Empiricist Empiricism is the view that knowledge mostly comes from using your senses to observe the world. Eighteen. Teacher John encourages his students to develop their reasoning power to the fullest to arrive at knowledge. A. Pragmatist B. Rationalist The best answer is B. Rationalist. Rationalism is any view appealing to intellectual and deductive reasoning as the source of knowledge or justification. This opposes sensory experience or any religious teachings. To a pragmatist, education means preparation for practical life. The learner should know how to solve and tackle practical problems and real situations in life. 19. The greatest happiness lies in the contemplative use of the mind, Plato said. Therefore, let us give more opportunities for our students to do a. Cooperative learning b. Introspection The best answer is b. Introspection. It is the examination of one's conscious thoughts and feelings. 20. The practice of motivating students before the lesson is under the law of a. Effect b. Readiness The best answer is b. Readiness. The law of readiness states that learning is dependent upon the learner's readiness to act which facilitates the strengthening of the bond between stimulus and response. Thus, a student who is highly motivated and eager to learn is more likely to be receptive to learning, than one who is poorly motivated. That's all for today. Check this end screen showing right now for the other segment. Thank you for sticking around, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon for more videos like this. Study smart.